Hello Globe Farmers, welcome to another Gold Farming video. Today we'll be taking a look at yet another route here in the Ringing Deeps. Uh, I believe I've only got two routes at the moment for the Ringing Deeps. I'm trying for at least three to four routes per zone. Um, unfortunately, I've only got at least three on two or three of the zones. And then I know for sure for the Ringing Deeps that I still need to work on one. Um, I apologize if I sound sick. It's because I am sick. So, ignore all of that, but let's get on to it. So, this route is a fairly short route. I haven't actually timed it, though I would put it at probably a 7 minute route, somewhere right around there. Meaning, it could be around 5 minutes, or it could be around 10 minutes. It also depends on what files you are using, because if you are using the file of TrueSight, yeah, the file of true sight it increases your perception, but it also increases the amount of nodes you pick up because it shows hidden nodes. So if you're using that file, then I guess be sure that you know that you're going to be spending more time per lap on this route, and I mean you are spending more time on this per lap. Um, that file is probably one of the greatest files at the moment, I guess. Um, either way, uh, there's really not much to this route. It, again, it is a fairly short route. Um, I don't really know what else to say with that. You do come across Bismuth and uh, the Micro Bloom. You also come across Rathors, Rathor's Sphere. Spear, sorry, uh, Blessing Blossom, I believe the Orbinid, Ormid, I can't even say Orbinid, Orbin, did, yeah, Orbin did, um, and Lure Drop as well, as we just saw that I had picked some up, um, as far as that goes, you also see the Iron Claw, or, in, I believe you might have a chance of coming across the Aquarite or two. Uh, I could be wrong on that. But I believe this zone is one of the best zones to really farm in. Just because you can get, I think, every material. Gathering material, at least. So, it is kind of nice to see there is a zone that is such a low level. And it holds all of these materials on top of chests. So picking up chests is probably one of my favorite things to do in this zone. And uh, I haven't covered it much, but I also believe in my last video, I'm not sure if I covered that or not. But the chests are very profitable at the moment. I don't typically go out of my way for a chest unless if... I am, I'm trying to think of how to explain this, so if I'm close to a, I need to fix that, so I will update that in the import string, however, um, so for example, there's a chest right here, I didn't go out of my way for it, but if it's close to the vicinity of where I'm at, like in the route, and it just so happens to be out of the way, you know, I'll go for it. So, for example, if a chest spawns over here to my left, which sometimes they do, uh, most of the time you got to go in and check, though, so I don't typically go in and check. Uh, you can if you want, but I wouldn't really recommend it because those are elites and stuff, and they kill you pretty quickly. However, um, I will go after a chest that is out of the way in that sense. But if I see a chest that's going to take me on to a new part of the route, I don't typically go after it, but I'm OCD in that sense, and I don't like having incomplete laps. So, if you see a chest and you want to go for it, go for it, uh, but that's just not something I do. Anyways, guys, I'm going to show you the route once more time. It's probably one of my favorite routes, too, just because it is so small. Again, if you want the import string, please visit GamingHero.io. It is a 
paid membership site, so you'll spend $10 a month. At least I believe that's what it equates to, because it's eight pounds, um, and it's around ten to ten dollars and fifty cents. Though I'm not one hundred percent sure, um, but either way, that is where you can find my import strings. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day.